Hello everyone, this is Sonic Fiend, and today we're doing something a little different today. Basically, I was terribly bored at work, as we are wont to be, and I decided to step down memory lane a little bit, and I watched some VODs of the first ever Smash 4 tournament that I ever entered, and by extension the first tournament I ever entered back in New York City after uh, college. And that was for Nintendo World's first ever Smash 4 Wii U event. That was in January 2015. And watching that back again is kind of a trip, honestly. Just because, for one thing, I still played on the Wiimote. Like, I can bring it out. I still play on this, you know, from way back when. If, if, if you know me, if you, if you know my history playing Smash competitively, then you know what I was about with this, but beyond that, just like the way I did some things, the way I kind of carried myself way back when, uh, I got third at that event, so believe it or not, I believe there were like 50 or so entrants, it probably ran cap, I don't know, I don't know if it was actually 50 or, but it, it was a lot of people, and I got third at that event, losing only to first and second, which was uh, quite the experience, but it got me, like, interested in finding out more about, like, the New York City scene, and, you know, all these years later, here I am, still playing this gosh darn game, Ultimate, not Smash 4. Smash 4 has its own can of worms, and I'm definitely not looking forward to playing that again, like, seriously anytime soon, but maybe if I... Maybe if I, like, dust off my 3DS or something, I'll give it a look, but we'll see. But today, I decided to pull up one of the old, old Nebulous Prime VODs, and just at random, I just typed in my name, Sonic Fiend, and Smash 4 events and what have you, and what I have for us today is actually going to be... Uh, this right here. Let me take care of that. Okay. So, we are about to watch myself versus... This is, uh... We... He goes by Kuga now, which I believe is a common Rider reference. But we used to know him as Redline. So it was... It was uh, my Sonic. He was Sonic was the only character I played back in those days, versus uh, his Roy. And Roy was Roy was DLC for Smash Four, but he was also not very good. I will say that. But um, I think now I'm just gonna let the gameplay speak for itself, and we can hop right into it. So we're gonna have Sonic Fiend with Sonic versus Red I'm Line. I'm very curious. And Red Line has uh, been off and on these weeklies, but uh, showing some slight improvement here and there. Okay, first thing off the bat, this was um, again, this was I forgot to look at the date of the of this particular tournament, but it was definitely like I think this was when after all the DLC had come out already. I'm pretty sure I could be wrong. But, um, just, like, the, the layout for Nebulous Prime, like, what we used to use before we changed things, I forgot who made this particular layout, like, I would learn how to make these myself later, but someone else made this for us, and then we just kind of, like, uh, plugged in... Uh, like the player names and commentator names into the uh, that's what I'm looking for into the uh, into the plugin the plugin that's what I was looking for but uh, it was uh, I think I, I don't hate it but there's definitely a lot of dead space that I don't like looking at now I think Honestly, I think the best thing about this was, like, in the... If you look... If you look, like, into the bottom right corner over there... You could... 
like we don't have it up right now because honestly we weren't always diligent about that but what we used to do was we had who like we had the stream match on deck for people to see so they could like you know get excited for the players coming after the match that was currently on which I think was fine these days you really don't need it because like that info I learned later is like should be fed to the casters off camera or like on some list or anything like that but you know that that's just something I wanted to point out if in case you were wondering why it looks the way it does Royce double edge stance was very weird back then. It's definitely not as strong as it is now. So again, I have to so preface. The, the way Royce, I Royce, use the Wii mote basically. It's a little awkward. It's a little honest. It's Actually, like like this. all right. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to stop. I'm not gonna try and pause like everything every time I want to bring something up. But this is actually important. So for those who don't know, again, I played on the Wii remote, and let me just give you a quick button layout for how you play this godforsaken game with this device. And there's a whole story about that, but I'll... If someone's really curious, I'll, like... I'll explain it over Twitter or something. But, uh, basically, controls for this. Uh, you use the D-pad to move. Uh, by default... I didn't change any controls, by the way. So, by default, this was to move. Um... Two was... Two was your attacks, like your tilts, your jabs, your smash attacks. One was the special button. Minus was grab. Like, th this tiny thing here, minus was grab. And on the back, the B button was shield. And you're probably wondering, what did this shiny, like, translucent A button do? This was the taunt button. This was the taunt button, and I never changed it. Why? I don't know. I could not tell you. But, uh, suffice to say, this is a very strange control scheme, and it very much limited the ways I could do things. Like, for one, for one, because this is the, because I, uh, used the D-pad, I pressed up to jump. Which, you know, tap jump is a thing for some players. I wouldn't, you wouldn't catch me dead using that now on the GameCube controller, but, yeah, tap jump was a thing, or is a thing on this, mandatorily. But it also means I can't short hop with this. And I remember a very, very, very long time ago, at my first, like, proper local, I fought Dill. And she was still a Sheik main back then. And she, I, remember, I remember telling her, like... Or she asked me, I think after the set, she asked me, Hey, why don't you, why don't you short hop? And I'm just like, I can't with this. And she gave me the most bewildered look like... Beg pardon? You can't what? You fool? Okay, so... Again, I'm sorry for... Always pausing. I had to bring this up, though, because this is actually important. Right, so for the narrative. I did not mean to restart the whole lot. That's OBS for you. <laughs> That's a little too far ahead. Yeah, right to my left. A little honest. We were right about here. It's not like he can, like, just... His neutral is going to consist of him spacing neutral airs, doing cross-up up airs, and, like, just... I don't know why forward tilt sent backwards. Smash 4 had... Smash 4, I think, was the last game to have, like, the sort of jank reverse hitboxes because like as far as i know ultimate doesn't have them at all or if it does happen it's very very rare but th that just looked odd to me <clears throat> Bash dancing back and forth. okay down air it's gonna be hard to do that against Sonic okay being. falling up here run in there and he's already in your face so spacing is a very key thing with roy okay okay so that that's 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 my first mistake that I already don't like. So again, if you knew me back then, 
I used to use homing attack a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. I still do, frankly. The difference is, in ultimate, homing attack is actually a very, very, very good move. It's a zone-breaking tool. It, uh... It can help recovery. It still does here, which is why you saw me use it. But, you know... A lot of a lot of things got better with the move in general, like I can combo off that off of homing attack at low to mid percents. Which you could not do in Smash Forward. You definitely couldn't do that in Brawl. The reason the reason I have to stop and bring this up is Smash 4's homing attack is actual fucking garbage. And like I was very stubborn back then. People called me out saying why do you keep using this godforsaken move? And I'm just like, it's fine. It's not as bad as everyone thinks. It's, it's like, it's an okay move. Pass me. No, it's not. That move is actual garbage in this game. I'm sorry. Smash 4 Sonic is good, is actually better than Ultimate in a lot, in a lot of other departments. But Homing Attack is not one of them. And I feel like it's going to get me killed at least once this set. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so good on uh, good on Kuga for the up smash. Has a target, so he doesn't go towards anything. Oh, that I didn't know. I was just assuming he would bounce off the ground and then you try to hit him there. Yeah, he would either bounce off the ground, you could hit him, or he would like splat on the ground, which is even longer recovery. So, Ninja Link is uh, Ninja Link is right. Homing attack's biggest weakness, which Ultimate is better about this because you can actually alter your timing a bit, but the best thing you want to do is like try and time a spot dodge and if i miss i'm like hard planted on the ground it wasn't the recovery wasn't that bad in smash 4 it actually got worse in ultimate that's like one of the only nerf it got which is, i think is very fair for what the move does for sonic as a character in ultimate in that game but in general uh homing attack the best way to punish it is to spot dodge or or if you think you can hit it, by all means, you could probably, like, if you have a sword or something, you can jump and hit it, which a lot of a lot of people didn't do back then and definitely don't do now. Because in this game, homing attack fully charged can pop shields, and I get away with that way more than I should. But anyway, that's uh, that's important though for the matchup. Yeah, don't let it hit your shield. Yeah, because you're not going to get anything for that. Unless your character's okay, fast. Call my jump. Your character's not fast. Oh, I'm anymore. dead! I missed the tech! And saved you saved him. I don't know why. Kuga, why did you save me? I, I, know, I know what he was going for. He was, gonna, he was like trying to spike me, get the clip, but... Roy down air in Smash 4 was such a bad move... Like, not only, not only was a spike hitbox, like, not active for very long, I think only, like, one or two frames at most, but the hitbox itself did not actually align with the sword. Like, Roy is swinging down. If, if I can, if I can find the hitbox for Smash 4s, I'll, I'll put it on screen, but, like, Roy was swinging down, and the actual hitbox was, like, a little in front of him like a little a little um forward toward the way he was facing it, it made no sense but basically that move was actually really really bad <laughs> punch down smash man. didn't kill even with rage does be, he does not keep a second jump <laughs> why did down smash good. hit like that and I'm, that looked weird already yep. and that's a terrible down air yeah, hitbox is tiny hit. It's not even accurate. It's like to the side of the sword, not on the sword. He just, there you go, he just said it for me. Oh, I'm dead, right? Yep, that should be it. I live that? Magnet hands! Oh my god! But, uh, Kuga, you know, catching me recovering, or, or catching me uh, ledge rolling, I should say, and taking my stock with the up smash. No. Um, couple of quick things. Because, again, I haven't watched this. Like, I haven't I haven't watched this, like, in years. This 
This VOD is at least five years old. I haven't looked at any of my Smash 4 uh, footage. But... Uh, something to keep in mind. Town and City... This might sound like blasphemy to people who have only played Ultimate, but it's Smash 4 Town and City... Excuse me. Town and City had the smallest uh, ceiling in the game in terms of stage size. Like... People used to die, especially with Rage, people used to die at like 65, maybe 70. Now that is definitely not the case. It is now the tallest ceiling in the game, but that that was just that was just what we played back then. Because uh, our stage selections okay, so were very, very picky. RBM, which is... His new... His new tag, I guess? Is that Ralphie? No, 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 no. Is that Ralphie behind me? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> right, I'm just, I'm just finding old faces again. Oh my goodness! No, no, I don't think that's him. But now, this is stage where he was definitely super active. Oh yeah, uh, Duck Hunt. Speaking of, um, speaking of star for stages, this used to be a very legal stage. This was definitely a counter pick stage. I don't know how it lasted. As long as it did, but we definitely kept this. And people hated me for bringing them here, but, uh, you know, it's the other FD. FD was Sonic's best stage in Smash 4, and I think it still is an ultimate, but, you know, it's neither. Like, the jury is out. You can make a stronger argument for, like, PS2, but I, I still think FD is Sonic's best stage. But, uh, yeah, uh, Duck Hunt was very legal. I believe the... Actually, I think Duck Hunt had the PS2 problem. Where, like, the sides of the stage were as long... Were the longest of any legal stage. Like, there was so much... Um, there was so much ground stage to run on, run on but the Blast Zones were also very close... I think, again, it's been a very long time, but I think that's how it went. But it has the widest boundaries in the game. Yep. And it's not like there, there you go. Yeah, Sonic he just said it again. Definitely. Why do I say things? Let the commentators talk. So it's really just you have to guess where he's going to go. Yep. Roy's fast, but... Aerial Spin Dash popping up the way it did. Really very different. Sonic's. Go to chase him, yeah. He's using that side he's B good like back he's back air. He's just running up the side B. With Roy? Yeah. Yeah, it's... In Melee and Brawl, you could do that. You can't do it in this game. This IB has a lot of okay, good. behind it. Okay, right. that's... So this is... This is something about Smash 4 that I honestly hated. Like... But besides the fact that we played this game at two stocks for some fucking reason, I cannot believe we played this entire game in its entire lifespan when it was, like, center stage... Or, like, the uh, most recent entry. I cannot believe we played this game with two stocks. That shit made no sense to me. And th there was a time where I actually ran... Like, like I used to run Nebulous. Like, when I, when I was head TO... Th this, um, this took place before, like, I took up the mantle. But when I was head TO... I ran, like... I want to say about a month of... Smash for three stocks. Three stocks, six minutes. Stages were the same, but it was just three stocks. And a lot of people liked it, but then we started getting pushback because, oh, we're not conforming with the, um, you know, with the major circuits at the time, which was like the 2GG series when that was a thing. Just like, oh, we're not abiding by, we're not abiding by like the quote, official rule set even though Smash World Tour wasn't really a thing or anything of the sort and then you know we got we got enough pushback we just had to go back to two stocks but god like if I knew if I knew back then what I know now I would not have given it I would have kept that shit at three stocks I don't care anyway it's not a poke anymore 
I got on that tangent. I forgot what my original point was. My original point was... <laughs> Good lord. My original point was... Smash 4... One of the things I really didn't like, besides Rage being obnoxious, was defensive defensive maneuvers were so strong, like rolls, rolls, spot dodges on the ground had no penalty whatsoever. You could spam that shit nonstop. And that was kind of that kind of got people like blown up in the first year ultimate because we were fighting old Smash 4 habits. But the other thing is Smash 4 air dodges were so instant and you could spam that shit like it was a carryover from brawl but it was egregious it was so much worse than smash 4 it made like if it wasn't a true combo like oh yeah yeah that's all anyone did because it was because like in hit stun um air dodging is the first action that any character can take so that's why like even in Ultimate, we're still very conditioned to, like, click our triggers when we're in hit stun. The only good thing about that in this game was that it led to interesting, like, 50-50 situations where, you know, you could call out the air dodge and then punish with something else. Those were always good to see at the mid to high level. I don't know what that... You're trying to do that to reverse the momentum. Okay, I Roy committed has to you back a little early. Roy has fastest airspeed in the game. Yeah, he's fast. You just saw me. You just saw me air dodge well, twice into a homing attack down. and get that back air. That was a good back air. Good job, me. Now, uh, similar trope with all the Fire Emblem characters. They suck <clears> coming down because they have no good moves to come down with. That's still true to this day. So if you put a Fire Emblem, any of the Fire Emblem characters in the air, they have to struggle. Oop. God, up, up don't use homing attack. That shit is bad. Up to we're killing now, no? From oh, you know what? You know what? I think I know why I did that. Because I did not. Th this is this is kind of telling. And if any Sonic mains are watching this, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But at this moment in time, I did not know how to spin shot. I didn't, I didn't know what the spin shot was. And I didn't learn until, like, the very, like, last year of this game competitively. Before, like, everyone stopped playing. So this is definitely, this is definitely before that. But suffice to say, spin shot is what makes Sonic's recovery so, so good. Especially in Ultimate. In Ultimate, spin shot makes his recovery... Arguably top five. Up tilt, forward tilt, it doesn't need a ledge. Alright, you, you get one. You get one, me. Alright, see, that's what I'm talking about. That that was a good air dodge read on my part. Didn't send up, because down air, Sonic's down air could send up now or I'm spike, as you saw. Really like auto Ooh, okay. up on any of these platforms? No. Be no. All right. auto Falling up air in the bear. That's still a thing that Roy's do today. They edge cancel at most, but he moves. But um, Sonic's down air, like it sends up if you don't get the uh, spike hitbox. Does Sonic homing attack aim at the ducks? Yeah, it's pretty funny. And it so it does not. Homing attack does not aim at the ducks, but because the duck got in the way, I hit it. What uh, what you may or may not know. If you play Ultimate and didn't play Smash 4, there was no such thing as a Hazard's Toggle. We had to play with whatever the stages had. And in this case, we let the ducks rock. And the dog could appear in the background and like serve as a platform and mess up confirms and shit like that. A lot of bad things happen on the stages, my point. Target. And you can't even really right. choose. That's why it's never considered a good move. Okay, you got trumped. Okay, trying to go... I think it's going to go for Nair to... Soft Nair to back air? I think I was still thinking back then. Nice forward air. Got the sour spot. Okay. Oh, back air, you ran right into that. Tryson? No, this is wow. Duck. I'm okay. talking about. 
I wouldn't have killed all the way from across the Oh, this is perilous, oh, perilous. Right what am I doing? You just we spotted. I'm pretty sure up throw will kill now. Okay. Sonic's up throw did actually right kill away. around this percent. Okay, get up attack. Up throw up air was a like thing, and I miss it so much. This is dangerous. I feel like he wants to use that armor. This is dangerous. I saw some rolls in there. Oh. Why yeah, did that uh, hit the way it did? What? Hold, let, let me let me get that again. Hold on a minute. That goes your kill right now. Oh, I hit up air one. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. So I got I got up air one somehow. Missed up air two, but hit an air. God, I miss Smash for up air so much. That move was consistent back then. It used to kill back then. God, give me that move back, please. I'm begging you. But that that that's like a one in one hundredth chance of up air not excuse me connecting properly. But I still convert it, so it's fine. Oh wow, barely. There, got him. I thought he up aired him. I'd be mad too oh, if I lost like that. Like I'm not gonna lie. Looks like I got a match. Do I still have that jacket? <laughs> I might. I think I do actually. I have to see if it's in my closet somewhere. <laughs> I think they're swapping casters now. I heard that um, Vinny had to go play. And that bucket hat. Hey, how's that? Going? That bucket has actually a Name gift man. from a very, very dear friend of mine. I think I still have it. I don't wear it anymore, but I. Pretty now, sure I still have it back here. I agree with this pick from Redline mainly because Roy, you don't really want people to chase you. You want to okay, so now we're on Smash Bros. at all times. All right. So do you want to play an aggressive Sonic in this case or a passive Sonic? Uh, Sonic actually excels more at being more passive. Okay. This is being correct. He's the faster character. He, in every case, he will be the faster character. He has the choice to initiate or not. So if Sonic doesn't want to initiate, he doesn't have to. So being the initiator. That's still true in Ultimate. With a stock lead, I should add. That said, that said, Ultimate Sonic cannot kill the same way Smash 4 did. So, um, sometimes, if we're behind in stocks, it's a struggle. And that also means you have to keep the mental, because, again, we played this game at two stocks, six minutes. Ultimate is now, uh, gen generally, three stock, eight minutes. So trying to like play passive for eight minutes to fulfill the prime win condition, that's just stressful. Let me tell you. Smash 4 Sonic did not have to worry about that because uh, two stocks meant the pressure was on as soon as Sonic got the first uh, got the stock lead. He, he has the choice to just wait for someone else to do something and then like punish that. Duffed him. Ooh, barely, barely missing that back here. Okay. All right. I was about to say, do not homing attack. I swear to God, don't you do it. Back okay, caught the, caught the read the back air. Now, we're gonna edge guard. Mm. Okay, he's gonna come back. Little, 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 little too far. I think red lost on our B reverse that. Mm -hmm. Just let him Four, grab you. Oh no, down throw. Uh, might have to jump. <sighs> Never punished, apparently. He's still doing okay, his double edge dance there. conversion. I don't know what that led to for Roy back then, Up but there. I can't imagine much. Still too high. Go back. Up air. Yep. Red line. Spin go. dash up air was a kill yeah. confirm. My God. The way spin dash is, it's pretty much set knockback, so you can always get a follow up from it. Right. Uh, it's not set knockback, but it's very low knockback growth. Okay. Oh my Where's god, Blazer used to kill in this game! Four, I believe. Oh my god! So you're gonna cutting right through the spin dash and hit That was just good DI on my it part, but kill, my lord. It did get him out of that sticky situation. Yeah, he needs to get this kill now, so yeah. Sonic won't rack any more damage on him. Ooh. Good pressure from Redline. Hit him with the noodle. 
I should die. I should have died for that. Attacks. Okay, double forward air. And kill. Okay, recover. Yeah, red line is at that point I'm in punished. the match. Down throw? Really oh, he mashed kill. out. Good mash, good mash. Yeah. yeah. I'd say after... I go shield. I go shield. That makes sense. After 60-ish, <clears throat> I feel like... It's gonna be hard because yeah. you're around that range where rage will probably kill you at some point. Ed. Why was I going for fourth smash there? What was I doing? Or like, oh. depending on the character you're fighting. Unless, oh, down oh. smash? I think oh, oh yeah. caught him. That's he it. Wow. I thought that two framed. If he had two framed, he gets a jump back. That did two frame. Good oh, I, that was an abrupt cut off, but okay. That was the end of the VOD. Um, yeah, all right. So that was a little a little look uh, into like memory lane, so to speak, of that wonderful quote unquote game that we played. And I don't know how I wasn't the worst player in my region. Because I'll say it, my sense of neutral back then was next to non existent. Shit made no sense. Somehow I consistently went two and two at my local. With this thing. What the sense make? It is what it is. But, um. Yeah, I'm still kind of, like, flummoxed by that, honestly. <laughs> Smash 4, that was a game. And, like, to, to compound that fervor, I did not own a Wii U. So, my practice was all in the 3DS online and let me tell you smash 4 online i honestly honestly don't remember if i don't know if smash 4 online was better or worse than ultimate but it definitely was not good but yeah like com like real competitive practice at home i just never got <laughs> and well part of that was because like I didn't really have a home back then. Like, my situation was... Well, my living situation was just not the greatest at that point in time, but... I mean, you know, Smash 4, I have to thank, because, like, that kind of kept... That really kept me going for quite a bit. Not, not to get too heavy, but... Like, the scene especially, like, without them, I don't know... I don't know where I'd be right now. Because I... I did not have a lot of, like, hope or aspiration because of things in my life at that time, but, you know, suffice to say, like, Smash 4 will always have, like, a place in my heart. Brawl is still, like, my favorite entry bar none. I have way too much nostalgia for that and other personal reasons, but Smash 4... I will always love for like introducing me to the New York scene at large and you know still some of these some of these guys I still talk to today and they're all they're all great homies I like, I'm, I'm just grateful and like the big weekly like besides nebulous the big weekly Xeno is having its 300th event very very soon 300th they started in smash 4 and they're still going strong in ultimate like god I don't how long have they been at it, actually? I want to see it like... I think this is like their eighth year? I, I, that sounds right. I think it does. But yeah. Um, so, that's it. That's, uh, that's it for the video today. That was just a glance back at my Smash 4 play. And wow, what play it was. Uh, I'm... I'm at a loss for words. Again, how did I beat people with the Wemo? Maybe, maybe I was just carried. Smash 4 Sonic, honest to God, Smash 4 Sonic is better than Ultimate. Like, I will hold that to my dying breath. But he was also the best character in that game to have never won a Super Major. That, that's how good he was. Like, all, like definitely top 5 all throughout. Nowadays, mm, nowadays I wouldn't call him top five. He's still very good, and I know like the like the official alt rank has him as number four right now. But yeah, suffice to say, that's uh, 
that's that's uh, that's just the game we played back then. Anyway, um, again, this is kind of off the cuff, so I don't really have like a planned outro or anything. But uh, and I don't even know if I'm gonna look do another one of these again. Maybe maybe I can maybe I'll do this again if I'm like reviewing Ultimate Vods. Maybe if that's something people are interested in. But for now, I've waffled on long enough. I've been Sonic Fiend, and have a great night, everybody.